script notes because I was told I need to have a script. So that's what I'm doing. My script. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a book review for you guys. So back on my MIA book haul video, Dreamed of Books asked if I could do a review on um, one of the particular books that I featured in this book haul. So that's what I'm gonna do for you guys today. So let's just get straight into this video. The book that I'm reviewing today is The Call by Peter O'Gallen. So basically in this world about, I think it was 25 years ago, is that what I wrote down? Yeah, so 25 years ago, this group of people called The Side, they started stealing teenagers. And um, the teenagers would get taken from their homes, their school, their dates, their lives, whatever the hell they were doing. And they had three minutes to go to the world where the side lived and the side would basically spend that three minutes in the human wo world. Because in the human world, they're only gone for three minutes and four seconds. It's, you can't, there's actually an extra four seconds on the end of that. And this three minutes and four seconds actually equates to an entire day in the side's world. And the side would spend an entire day trying to hunt, track down and kill the human teenagers that they've taken and so because of this there are very few adults who are like 25 years when this first started it was like it was like one in ten kids actually survived the call most of them came back dead half of them got caught like straight away and they, they're, they're tortured for the entire day before they're sent back it's actually quite like gross and horrible when you actually think about it but yes, in this world, no teenagers really exist because half of them have been killed. There's now a survival rate of like 3 out of 10 kids who actually survive the call. Dead people just rock up wherever they last were. So yeah, basically when the side do call you, your clothes just mysteriously disappear and you're in this random world butt naked trying to save your life. Really unfortunate series of events when you think about it, like, I wouldn't want to be naked trying to save my life, like. The main character in this book is Nessa. She finds out at age 10 that about the call and everything that happens, and you find out she's deformed. She's got twisted, mangled legs, so she can't actually walk properly. And her entire life she's been told, you're not going to survive the call, there's no point because in this world, the government and the military focuses all these money on these academies where they train um, children from the age of 10. They, they train these kids the best that they can to give them skills so that they can survive the call. And um, Nessa goes, and everyone's like, why are you here? You're wasting our resources. You're going to die. There's no way you're going to survive the call. I went into it going, bet you 10 bucks she lives. Like, I think the saddest thing for me about this book was the fact that the kids in this world don't form relationships with one another. Because they're basically their entire life they've been taught the people you become friends with that are your age. One or like one out of ten of you is gonna survive. Like at most three out of ten of you are gonna survive this. So I think it was really sad that because of this none of them could form relationships at all. Like they sort of had relationships but they didn't really commit to the these friendships too much because hey my mate could be dead tomorrow. Like this book wasn't what I expected it to be. I kind of just went in not really having much expectation. Like I honestly thought they received a phone call, not they just grabbed at any point in time. I found Nessa to be an interesting character. You know, she's a lot stronger than anyone gives her credit for. Like my favorite thing about this book was the further we got into it, every time um, a, a particular character got called that we knew, we, we got a chapter or two on their perspective of being in the sides world and what they did to survive. Um, I mean, it wasn't very detailed. I felt like it was a very basic kind of like retelling of what happened to them. To me, I would have liked a bit more information, a bit more detail. I don't feel like you got a chance to connect very much with the characters, so like when they did get called and taken, you were kind of like, okay, it's just another kid dead. But the most disappointing thing for me was Nessa's was so short. Her time in the sides world was like non-existent. There wasn't a lot of information. And I honestly thought we were gonna get more than like the three or so chapters it was if we even got that. So I'm interested to see like if the sequel does focus on Nessa and the other survivors, or if we go to a completely different academy and see if we focus on a different character and their journey. And I haven't decided if I would pick up the second book. Like, this was good, but I feel like it could be a standalone novel. I, I honestly thought this book was going to be a bit more darker, mysterious, a bit more, like, thrilling. I thought it was going to be more of a thriller. Be on the edge of the seat, like, when is she going to be called up? And it wasn't like that. It was just... It was, like, high school drama that I just thought was dumb. Overall, I did like the book. I liked it. feel like it 
could have had a lot more description and it kind of glossed over their calls. Like, I feel like most of it focused on the stupid teenage drama that was going on in the academy and I would have liked to have known more about the side, finding out more about the survivors and, like, that sort of aspect to me would have been more interesting than what we were given in this book. I'm really, like, on the fence about it, to be honest with you. It wasn't what I was expecting it to be. I don't think it was as good as I was expecting it to be. I was expecting more details of kids being tortured and stuff. Maybe I'm just a sadistic person. I think that's everything I want to say about this book, I feel. Like, I don't really know what else to say about it, to be completely honest with you. So, uh, that is my review of The Call by Peter O'Gullen. If you guys have read this book, please comment down below and let me know what you think of it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!